Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Rayan and today in this video I'll be showing you a revolutionary website that you can use to ace both your MBBS as well as your NMD chat. So the name of the website is premedical.pk by MedAngle and it's one of the most amazing resources to utilize and the reason I'm sharing this is because I utilized it during my NMD CAT session of 2021 and Alhamdulillah was really able to get a high grade and so I thought why not share this resource with you. In addition, I would also like to state that I am in no way sponsored by them. I simply found this so useful and I thought the people should know about this. So guys, I have a granted exclusive access to the website and I'll show you a few features that they have which you can also utilize if you subscribe to their website. Let's get to it. So guys, the website's name is premedical.pk by MedAngle. So if I click here and you can note now the screen that you are seeing is my dashboard. Now when a new person tries to log in, or get, wants to go to the dashboard, what they will have to do is first, they will have to sign up to an email or they can even utilize Facebook and do so. And after that, verification is needed. Now, uh, the verification can be done by contacting MedAngle or premedical.pk by MedAngle on their Instagram accounts and they reply within a few minutes. So verification is really important, guys. Let's get to it. So now that we are at my dashboard, Let's go and look at some of the features. So they have my dashboard, my performance, test mode, smart topics, MCQs. So let's start off with MCQs and give you an insight of what it is about. So uh, welcome to MedAngle Pre-Medical. Click on any subject below to start solving questions. All right. So they have these subjects which are going to be present in the NMD chat. So they have biology, chemistry, physics, English, as well as the new logical reasoning section that has been introduced by PMC from 2021 onwards. So guys, let's go ahead and solve a question. So uh, here's a question in a forest, there are a lot of plants, blah, 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 a lot of stuff is written. Now, uh, if I just choose, let's say any of the question, any of the answers, let's say I choose you. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I got it right the first try. Uh, but if I just close this and let's say I did it wrong, if I chose the wrong answer, it would show up as a red. And if I go back to my right answer, it's going to show a small animation showing tick marks everywhere. And then we get to the part with the wholesome and conceptual based explanation, which is absolutely important for a person who wishes to understand it correctly. Furthermore, you will not find this feature in any of the current resources available to students and this is one of a kind. So uh, let's go ahead. So we have a good explanation over here into specific competition occurs when members of a same species compete with each other and the rest is also written down. The other part is that they give us references. Now reference is really important because when a student is self-studying and we want to find out how and where this concept is, they can open the book. So for example, in this question, we need to go to your SIM textbook board, chapter 11 on page number 249. That's awesome because again, references are not given in any resource available to students in Pakistan now. Let's go ahead. The next feature is seeing how others did. Now, this is a really important feature for a student who wishes to excel at their studies because it tells you where you stand amongst the people. So if I go over here to the pie chart and I go down to these legends that are written down. So let's say all of the above has like that. So no one selected all of the above. That's why the entire pie chart has faded. If I go down in line with the competition, it shows which portion, which portion of people have. Uh, and the same case when I go further down, orange, purple, intraspecific competition. If I go down, intraspecific, awesome. And the other thing is if I go to the pie chart itself, they will show me the exact value of people which got the answers wrong or right. So 181 got this wrong, 103, 308 people got something right, uh, in random competition, specific. Awesome. So they let you know how many people did it right and how many may have done it wrong. Awesome. So if I go to the next question, and let's say another question, if I just, just do the wrong answers and then the right answer, then again, you get all of this. And sometimes, obviously, some questions might not have a reference to the book. So instead, they will provide you a direct link 
to where you can find the good information and then obviously research it on your own and understand the concept. Now, if I go back and close this and go back to MCQs, we have chemistry. So I just go to chemistry, do something right. <laughs> I got it right the first time. Awesome. Next, great. Next part, same thing with physics, English, and logical reasoning. So if I just go to logical reasoning, some stuff, some questions over here, and okay, I got it right, right again. That's awesome. Uh, let's go back and let, let's look at another feature. So guys, another feature that I'm going to show you now is the test mode. Now the test mode has been has been given to everyone so that they can replicate and do a timed session testing at the MCQs that will come in NMDCAT and obviously do it in an environment so that they can replicate it in the examination. Now, because PMC uh, from 2021 onwards has converted to a more digita digitized form of examination, that being that the MCQs were taken on tablets, this will help you replicate it and therefore prepare you in a far better way for the examination. The NMDCAT test mode session is also updated regularly according to the new PMC syllabus that comes out each and every year. So guys, this is a really good tool to use. Go for MedAngle. Let's uh, look at this feature now. So we have two modes, the test mode and the feedback mode. Now, if I go on to the test mode, you can choose the number of questions you want to solve. Ideally, you would want to solve 210 questions because that is how the syllabus is. But for explanation purposes, I'll just go for five. And then you have the test time. Now you can choose what time you need to give. You ideally, again, 210 minutes for 210 questions would be the right thing to do. But of course, for the sake of this video, I'll choose the least amount of time, 60 minutes, and I'll go ahead. Now you can see that uh, over here, we have a question and this is for physics. And on top on the right corner, you have the timer, which is going to count down. Great, so let's just select some random answers. And as you can see now, I can click any of these answers. However, they will not tell me what is right or what is wrong. Instead, they will just show it as a blue highlighted MCQ. And obviously this will replicate the exam conditions of PMC. Now, if I just go next, do a lot of these questions, just completely randomly and just do all of them and just yep go ahead so i got two out of five which is not a good score obviously now the good part is they will show you the question which you did solve and then they will go down and show you your answer on the left and the correct answer as well so my answer for the first question was 30 centimeters the correct answer was 30 centimeters as well great if i go down they will show that for the second question my answer was a thousand however the correct was 10. Now the other part is Smart Topics. Smart Topics is an amazing topical based question MCQ bank, which is really important to use, especially because when a student does a chapter or a topic, they really need to do their past papers. So after you do, let's say chapter one or two of biology or physics or any subject, you should go and do the Smart Topics. So that being the topical based MCQs. So now that we are at the smart topics, we can see that there are chapters written down and beside the chapters, it is written whether it is a high yield chapter or not. Now that is really important because when you're preparing for your PMC test, the NMDCAT or even the AKU test, this will help you get through it because it shows which topics you need to focus on a lot and which topics you should be doing the MCQs more of. So for example, if I go down, now we have over here the, the part from English. If you go down any, even further, all the different chapters, all the different topics. And of course it shows whether it's high yield or not. Let's say I select uh, nuclear radiations, for example. Let's go and solve that. And then again, we have a similar interface to the MCQs, which I initially showed you. So let's go and select some answers. Boom, that's wrong, that's wrong too, that's correct. The third option was right. So again, the explanation, the reference as well. And now if we go to the next part, again, let's do another question. Sure, got it right. Again, another explanation. And this time, obviously some questions need pictures and uh, animations to show you what's going on to help a student realize and understand the concept. And that has been shown over here, which is important and is really good. And further down, we have a reference. 
and then we have a link to where you can find extra information on the topic, which is great. <clears throat> so now if I go to Smart Topics again and I go down all the way down, you will see that there is a section known as the NMD CAT tested questions. Now that has been shown as high yield because these are authentic, correct questions which appeared in my year when I gave my NMD CAT in 2021. So that's awesome. And let's go and look at another feature. So as the name states, it can show you what your level and what your performance has been throughout a certain period of time. So if I go down, you can see that there is a pentagonal spider shaped diagram and that's awesome and it shows you which parts you are good at, which parts you might be weak at. That's awesome because now I can focus on more on English and more on logical reasoning. And if I go down, you can see that there is the daily activity tab. Now the daily activity tab will show you how many questions you have done throughout a particular set of time. So over here, for example, today I did 32 questions while showing you those stuff. In this video, and 30 questions I had earlier. So the more questions you do, the more darker these squares appear and the more darker shade of green. So if I go back and show you my previous activity, this was when I was subscribed to Nirango and it was an amazing site. So um, some days I did only one question, some days I did even more like 321 questions. So that was great because it helped me prepare for my NMD Now, furthermore, when I go down over here, it shows you every single mode that you have taken, that you have done tests, questions, whatever you have done throughout. So for example, it's showing me my test mode session, which I had done four minutes ago. And then if I go down, test mode session six days ago, four months ago, that's a long time. But it shows you how many questions you did right, out of how many questions did you actually score correctly, out of how many questions were there. That is great right there, and if I go down, now it shows us your right versus wrong section. Now in this section, it's basically a semicircular pie chart, and it's going to show you how much of the stuff I have done correctly and how much of the questions I have solved incorrectly. So if I click over here, if I go over here, you can see that 74% is correct and 25% is wrong. And further down the line, you see your activity by the time of day. Now, this is a really good feature. Now, why is it so? It's because it shows me which time of day I am most productive and mostly doing questions. So for example, you can see in the pie chart, the most time I have given out is during the night because I'm a night owl. And then we have the morning, the afternoon, the evening, and late night. Now, the good part is, let's say I want to only compare morning and night, not the other ones. So all I can do is come to the legends down here, and let's say I want to remove afternoon. I just have to click over there, it's going to remove from the pie chart. Let's say I only want night and morning. So I'll remove evening and I'll remove late night and it's going to show me morning and night. Great. Further down the line, they show us how many questions were correctly attempted by me. So 100, uh, 1,478. Further down the line, how many questions did I actually solve in total? 1992 questions. And then my recent activity again, and they show us which questions we got right, which questions we got wrong, and at what time did we attempt it. So guys, now that we're back to the main screen, it shows that premedical.pk and I met, I go premed, and they have been doing this since 2017. So initially they started off with helping the MBBS students and then they shifted to the NMDCAT students as well. So guys, this is what they do and I highly appreciate it. So now if you go down, let's talk about their team. So mashallah, they have a huge team and this is the future of medical education. And we have Dr. Muhammad Azib, who recently graduated. So uh, congratulations to you, sir. And uh, he is the founder, CEO, and CTO of Medangle, along with these other amazing directors, associates, managers. Uh, mashallah, again, hats off to you guys to, for producing such an amazing resource for all of us. And their, their team is vast and that's awesome. So we're working today for a happier and healthier tomorrow. And we're looking for those who want to change the future in a big way. And plus you can also apply to them, which inshallah I'll do, inshallah. So uh, let's go and look at their actual. So now guys, we're going to see what Medangle is all about. So Medangle is building the future of medical intelligence by transforming the way medical students learn through efficiency, fun and simplicity which honestly are the three main points in anyone's education. And it's awesome, uh, awesome. You can obviously, you can pause the video over here and read what they have written. 
and if I go down, there is there extra opportunities and there have been contacts which you can utilize again for verification or any other questions that you might have. Campus Ambassador Program, Careers, awesome. Although I've shown you a lot of the features, don't take my word for it and don't even take Red Angle's word for it of how good they are. Instead, take the word of uh, hundreds upon thousands of students as you can see the screen right now these are amazing huge reviews from people from Sin Medical College from Dow from Shahid Mohtarma Medical College from Central Park Medical College Indus Kepler Dow ATU so many different colleges over here and that is awesome so guys this is honestly really amazing to see how many lives we have impacted around this school and now continue. continuously and it's never ending Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a like down below and of course comment with any tips or suggestions that you might have for me and I'll get back to you immediately. And I'll drop down all the links to their Instagram posts, to the Facebook page, as well as their main website for MedAngle down in the description below. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already and prayers are always needed. Jazakallah guys, Allah Fiz, peace.